Okay, so my dad and I are actually installing a fence at my grandparents' uh, old place where we renovated uh, last winter the interior. And now we're looking to add a fence in from this corner out to the street, then out around the backyard and side um, to give an area to let the dogs out and such because basically this house my sister's living in uh, one side of it, then the other side my parents will be in for a bit while they're renovating their actual house. So we are looking to get the backyard fenced in so the dogs and everybody can go out and not worry about getting right on the street. So, so we have a whole bunch of fence panels and posts, about 70 bags of concrete, and then we also got the auger attachment on rent from Bobcat for all the fence posts. So this will be pretty interesting to use. And of course the weekend we have for this, it's raining. So it'll be nice and wet for all the concrete. And we also have this, I believe, Redburn tree, which flowers in the spring. We have to, we're gonna plant this on the right side somewhere and 20 yards of loam to spread at some point. So over on this side, we have uh, some interesting arrangements here where the our lot line is in this back corner, but a lot of the neighbors' um, items are on it, so we're trying to basically work around that and get our first post hole in this corner and work off of that and then shore up to the house based on where we start out here. So on this side we just have water, septic, and then we'll be butting up to the garage over there, coming down through here, and then going straight up that way. So the company we bought the fence from loaded this into the trailer and they loaded it all backwards. So the four posts in the bottom there are the ones that we need first, basically. So I have to unload all these and lay them out till uh, we get to those and then we can use them. Stick it in the other way. Yeah. Pull out and it should be like a spout. Yeah. Hold <coughs> up, hold up. 
Okay. So that auger worked pretty good. We were able to get it down about uh, somewhere around four feet. And then we actually want the bottom of the fence to match up with this uh, line here. So this is the bottom rail. It's about the same as that line. And then down here, we added on the extra to the post so that it would have a bit more, so that it would have a bit more anchorage since this area we're gonna backfill over. So yeah, our property corner's there, but we were nice enough to not destroy the retaining wall that is uh, unfortunately on our property. <clears throat> Though this electrical line and irrigation is free game, so. Add a couple more bags of concrete and get it set up. It's probably like a couple quart thing.
All right, that takes that area down enough so that the gate on either side here will be able to swing back to the left and swing to the right since that was uh, uphill from this side. So that gets the rest of the fence in here. We have to wait on ordering the gate since it'll be cut to the size of the opening we have, which is right around eight feet. So now what I'm gonna do is go around and clean up near the posts and then try and spread some of this topsoil in the lower spots on that side and pull out the bush over there, the couple of fence posts from the old privacy fence, and then plant this tree.
Got the fence all put in, the caps on it, and then all the topsoil spread. Just waiting again on the gate. And managed to get 20 yards of topsoil to skim coat all of it, and then some thicker stuff on the left side. Planted the uh, tree over here. And tomorrow morning, uh, my dad will be back to put down seed. And hopefully all this will pop right back up. So overall this fence was extremely easy to put in and uh, you know after we got halfway through it like usual we'll become much more acquainted with the procedure and it goes real quick but the auger was a lifesaver and definitely a real nice tool to have I just don't know if I would use it enough to buy my own all right time to pack up and go to another job <laughs> 